Okay. Um, you must be aware of Task Manager. You've seen it in Windows. If you have not seen it, let me show it to you. Although I really hope you've seen this before. So this is uh, a Task Manager in Windows. If you want to see the Task Manager in Linux, you have a command named as top command. You have you will write this in your terminal, and then you will see something like this. So you can see there are several users. One is the the normal user that you have made. This is the name of user of my Linux, and the other one is root. And you can see several PIDs here. PID is the process identification number. So you can see several PIDs for different processes. So each of this line is actually a process. And you, you can see right here that I have opened up Firefox. So that is shown here as a process. And, and there are many other things, properties related to it, which are shown here. And so, so these are the current process that are managed by the kernel. You, you can see them through this top command. OK, now we have to learn how to search for a particular process, how to uh, search the PID, process identification number of a particular process. So for that, we have to first learn two other commands, which are PS and AUX. So what does PS command do? This command is used to provide information about all the currently running processes. So PS stands for process status and actually provides you with the information about all the processes that are currently running at this time uh, in your system. Okay. This next command is AUX. Okay, this, what does this command do? Uh, in, in this command, A is for telling the terminal to show processes for all users. So, so we want processes which are run by all the users, by root, by us, and, and if there are any other uh, multiple users present. The second one is U. U is there to tell the terminal, display the processes, user, and owner. So it, it will show the name of the owner as well. And X is... Uh, for telling the terminal to show processes which are not attached to the terminal. That means those processes which were not initiated by the terminal, which were which were maybe running before even the terminal started. So which are not attached, which are not uh, linked to the kernel. Okay. And now let's see how will we combine these two commands, ps and aux, and then we will use it to search any process. So, now let's see how will we use these two commands together and we will use them to search a process. So first of all, you will write ps space aux space and then the pipe operator, which you are already familiar with. And then there is the famous grep command. So grep command is used to search anything. And right now we are using it to search a process. And after grep, we will write the name of our process, which we want to search. Okay, so the example is right here. This, this is the command ps aux pipe operator grab and then I have written Firefox. So I have opened up uh, the browser Firefox and I am trying to search the PID of this uh, process, this program. Okay. So let's see the output of this command. This command will actually give me two results. You can see here these are two, two different results and you can see two PIDs. One PID is 3149, the other PID is 3229. So uh, here you have to be smart and see which of these PIDs is uh, the one you are interested in. So you can see very clearly the second PID, the second line, at the end of the second line you can see grep right here. So actually these are two processes. This is process 1, this is, this is process 2. So you can see two IDs uh, linked to the two processes. So these are two processes and you are not interested in the second process. Why? Because this is actually the same process which was initiated by this command. So you ran this command and then this command actually started a process. So um, while grepping, while, while searching, it showed itself, its, its own ID here too. So we are not interested in that. We need the ID of the original uh, Firefox process, um, the one in which, uh, the one which has opened our browser. So this is that ID. 